Off-road technology has come a long way in recent years with new innovations making it easier and safe to explore even the challenging terrains. And today we'll be talking about some of the off-road tech that is new, modern and also quite versatile. So stick around. But before we talk tech, let's take a quick look at the hardware or rather the underpinnings that make a car truly off-road capable. And for this, the most important aspect is the chassis or simply put, the overall structure of the vehicle. Broadly, all the cars can be had either with a ladder on frame chassis or a monocoque structure. A ladder frame is a chassis consisting of two parallel longitudinal rails that are then connected by two cross frames. This is then mounted by a body on top of the ladder frame. Typically, the material used for ladder frame is high strength steel which adds to the overall strength and the rigidity of the frame. This makes it ideal for vehicles that has to carry loads of weight and withstand tough conditions. These are usually with SUVs, pickup trucks and even off-road vehicles. Whereas in the case of a monocoque structure, the overall body and the chassis are integrated into a single unit. This means that the body of the vehicle also contributes to the overall strength of the vehicle. The monocoque chassis is made of lighter aluminum materials that also aids fuel efficiency and performance. The best type of frame for a particular vehicle depends on its intended use. If the vehicle needs to carry heavy loads and withstand tough conditions, then a ladder frame is the best choice. If the vehicle is primarily used on on-road driving and fuel efficiency is a priority, then a monocoque frame is the better one. Now, when going off-road, depending on the terrain and weather, engines can run quite hot. An engine oil specifically for SUVs like the Gulf Formula SUV oil can play a bigger role in both performance and longevity of a 4x4, especially in trying off-road conditions. Limited slip differential uses gears to distribute torque to both the wheels on the same axle. What it does is that when one wheel starts to lose grip or is slipping, it sends power to the other wheel with more traction. Now LSDs are much more versatile, but mechanical locking differentials have much more better use for off-road vehicles. Mechanical locking differentials are widely used in SUVs that can help in slippery and uneven conditions. When one wheel on the axle is slipping, you can mechanically lock both the wheels to the same axle which helps distribute the torque evenly to both the wheels. Essentially, the speed of both the wheels are at the same pace. Mechanical locking differential can either be on-demand or automatic. On-demand differential can be locked and unlocked by the driver while automatic differential lock themselves when one wheel on axle starts to slip. While we talked about the mechanical locking differential, cars with relatively modern and complex tech are equipped with electronic locking differential. It omits the driver's effort completely to diff lock manually and instead uses electric actuator to lock both the wheels on the same axle during slippery or uneven conditions. This tech allows the driver to select a specific driving mode for different types of terrains. This can help to improve traction, handling and stability in different conditions. For example, a TMS may have modes for sand, mud, snow and rock crawling. Transparent bonnet technology is a new tech that projects a live view of the ground beneath the car onto the bonnet or hood. This allows the driver to see over the front of the car even around obstacles which can improve visibility and safety. It uses a series of cameras mounted on the front of the car. Water wading indicator technology uses sensors to measure the depth of water in front of a car. The system then displays the depth on the dashboard so that the driver can make an informed decision. It is typically used in off-road vehicles as these vehicles are more likely to be driven through water. 
So these are all the basic off-road tech that you need to know before taking your SUV to some off-road trails. And if you want to see more 4x4 SUVs in action, do check out our latest iteration of the Carwale Off-Road Day.